I'm going to start off this episode by equipping, uh, well, getting rid of the hero ring and equipping the economizer just for the bosses that are going to come up later on this episode. Anyway, other than that, I'm going to have to also remove the Moogle charm just because I was having it equipped just to get through this area a little bit quicker. Giving back the dragon horn. And now we can start the episode proper. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlan here and we are off for more Final Fantasy VI. In the last episode, we uh, we gave a... I gave a... Recap on what I did during the level grind. And we entered Sign's Dreamscape. And now we're in the Phantom Train in said Dreamscape. So now we're going to have to escape and help him out. And in order to do that, all we got to do is literally walk in here. And because Sign has rem somehow remembered the switches being activated, you don't need to do anything. Just walk out. And there you go. That is it. You don't even need to fight the, the Phantom Train. But here, this is the final time you ever get to use Magitek armor. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and we're looking around thinking, what the hell is going on here? But yes, we have magic armor. Now, if you had terror in your team... Which is kind of, Yeah, if you had terror in your team... Well, apparently he's getting chased by soldiers. I don't think that ever happened. But yeah, if you have terror in your team, you will have the full set of magitech armor skills. But everyone else just has the usual ice fire... Ice fire bolt and a heal beam. So that's kind of the thing. All we gotta do is follow this around, and if we get into a battle, yes we do, I'm gonna show off the magic Tagama. Because why the hell not? So, got a plute armor. I must. Uh, oh yeah, the one thing I didn't mention in the last episode is that um, I haven't done anything with Gauss Rages. I think that's kind of apparent, but yeah, I haven't done anything with Gauss Rages because. Um, eh. I just haven't been getting the rages throughout the game that I've been wanting, and I've been using mostly Scratch Cat just for the massive damage that it gives out. As well as other stuff like Brawler with the stone and everything. MY LORD! Luckily I did the level grind, because I could be screwed right here. Okay, yeah, heal force on you. <laughs> this thing's going to probably die now before I can even get the heal force off, so I'm not going to get free healing. Damn it. Okay, I'll just do a kill free, because Celez does have the economizer. Might as well use it. <laughs> Save and learn shell, so I'm going to just change his esper now. Okay. Sabin, what to give? Haste, reflect in haste? Eh, I don't think that will be good enough for you. You haven't actually finished off learning those. You can have that. And then we go over to Celez here. And with the power of the flaming economizer, 1 MP, full heal, pretty much. I mean... I can just spam it, because what's the point going to Cure 2 when it just costs the exact same amount of magic, eh? That's that's just the best. I mean, Brunch of Swords, of course, I had to abuse the bloody Vanish Doom because I was always going to get one-shotted, but hey, I didn't choose to get the Economizer, it just happened, and I got two of them, so I was lucky enough to even get one of them. So that's a thing, I guess. Uh, Palador, how close are you? 40%. And you haven't learnt life free, have you? Oh, you're almost done, though. So I'm gonna have to go back into the menus again soon, which does suck a little bit, considering. So yeah, we just gotta keep on following this path round. Am I hitting back on myself? I don't think I am. <clears throat> so yeah, we just gotta keep on walking around, chasing after Saban and his nightmare dudes. Then if I want to record, and I hope that's okay with you. Because we're almost at the end of this game. We've just got a few more quests, side quests to do, and then that's pretty much it, really. And the best thing is, because I'm so high leveled, I don't have to fight every battle just to get experience or magic, because I already have it all, which is another reason why I wanted to do the level grind a little bit earlier than I usually do. And, um, well, it just kind of makes sense. Uh, wait, no, oh, I couldn't walk for a second there, that was weird. Which means the only times I have to- Whoa! I forgot that happens. Yeah, but that means that the only time that we actually have to show off battles is just because of new random encounters or if it's a boss battle. But finally we made it out of the- Hang on a minute, we're not outside the dreamscape yet. Everything's too black and white and Sign's not even in his bed. Whoa! Please, save my husband. Save Sign. It's his wife and kid again. My god, they just keep haunting us, don't they? Where are we? Says Celez. 
We're inside Saiyan Soul. My husband. Sain continues to torture himself. He failed to defend Doma. The world's slowly dying. And then there's his family. Us. A beast known as Rex Soul is taking advantage of him. Rex Soul is a composite monster. Made of of wretched spirits who were dispatched in meaningless wars. How does a kid know that? They're wreaking havoc on Papa. Please help him. I can't remember the voice I gave to that little kid. I think the last time we saw them was bloody on the Phantom Train. I was like, yeah. And we got another save point. <laughs> They're very generous with the save points, I must say. Papa doesn't deserve this. Yeah, well, I'm going to forget about the save point. Because I don't plan on dying, even though, funnily enough, that's what we got to do in the battle. I'll, you'll see why in a minute. I can't remember if there's actual items. No, there isn't. This is just a Dreamscape version of what Domo Castle is right now. I think. But I'm still going to explore. It's not going to stop me. I don't think we can leave the castle, though. Oh, we can. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any random encounters here. I don't think we can leave, though. Oh, there is random encounters here. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I've concluded that there are definitely no more new random encounters here. We're encountering the same things again up before the Magitek Armor section. So, Moogle Charm again. And I need to cure that bloody imp that that Barbie gave me. But yeah, I keep forgetting that there's random encounters here or not. Like I said, it's been a while. This isn't one of my favourite side quests, to be honest. I mean, I think I had a bit of trouble. Because some sections can be mazes if you go the wrong way. But yeah, now that we've got the Moogle Charm, we can actually explore here. I can't remember if there are some... Oh! Ah, right! I've never done this before! If you go to certain parts of Dumber Castle in this back... In this dreamscape you can actually see some behind the scenes of signs past his memories you can see him play out for yourself which I never actually done I only read it up when I was searching a few enemies oh my god he's sparring with his kid that's adorable can I get in the fray <laughs> excellent concentration with a little more practice you'll be Dumber's best fencer Yippee! Papa praised me! I'm gonna go tell Mama! Oh, so adorable. Which makes it all the more sad. Because we all know what happened here. Kefka poisoned the river! Blame him! Blame that freaking clown! Damn him and ruining the world. God damn it. Can't win, can we? So I might as well go around and check out all these uh, little cutscenes because of reasons. Uh, actually, I think we, yeah, I just backtracked. Whoops. But yeah, I've never actually seen these cutscenes before. I, I was reading about Rexol, um, just for his HP, pretty much, and uh, well, it said some things about the Dreamscape, and then I just got carried away, and uh, I didn't know that these little cutscenes existed. So. What I'm gonna do is search around. If I bump into any more cutscenes, I'll show. I'll just show them off. But if I can't find actual any items, I'll just cut to where I actually got to be, which is outside the throne room. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Oh, sweetheart, do you love me? <laughs> what do you want from me? A soldier doesn't say things like that. I'm just going to sit in this bed. I loveth you more than anything. <laughs> I loveth you. What? That's not even an old word. And we just... Whoa! The kid just jumped out of me. I heard that. Yippee! I loveth you. I loveth you. Papa loves Mama. Owain! Oh, Hush! I heard that. And he just hops away. Oh, God. I love a few. What the hell? Anyway, I think that's all I can find in terms of where I can actually go. So, let's finish this. No items, except for that one open chest. We need to go here. And oh my god, it's the real sign because he's in colour. You must read Rexol. We want sign back. And I just noticed that I was playing as Sabin, but now Celez is at the front of the team. You're too late. His pain has reached critical mass. Nothing can stop. His feelings of rage and despair. I grow stronger now with his anger, hatred, and guilt, and I hunger for you. Yeah, 
And this is a bit of a dickish boss, considering that he's going to possess one of your characters and you'll have no clue which one he's possessed. The big one is the boss, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. I'm going to possess your body. I'll only appear in this form again when you're about to expire. So basically, he's going to possess one of your party members and then you have to kill that party member intentionally to find out if... They, Vexel's possessing that character, and if not, then you're gonna have to revive them. So, you know what? Just do. Just commit suicide. Saving. Oh, it missed! And you missed yourself! How do you do that? Good Christ! It just makes no sense, and this is what's really annoying, so. <sighs> let's make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Okay, Mulga, you cast Vanish on yourself. Hope that doesn't mess everything up. Oh wow, that was weak. That was a very, very weak ice free. <laughs> wow, that was pathetic. Anyway, Mog casts. Okay, Bolt free. That's gonna heal Celez. And it was only on Celez. Right, cast Vanish on yourself, Mog. I'm just gonna abuse the Vanish Doom glitch here. I mean, I could use Vanish X Zone on both those enemies, and then when I use X Zone, because Rex Soul was still technically there but can't be hit, he will get killed from. X zone and you could instantly win. It's kind of a very buggy glitch, but I'm just gonna be abusing Vanish Doom just to save up on magic and speed this up a little bit, so yeah. Um Mog definitely doesn't house the spirit. I hope it's not Celez, because that'll be a pain. Right, uh you're gonna die, so just switch to Okay, he's gonna pop out, he's gonna pop out. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get the bum rush on him. Not the little guys. Oh god, they got reflect. Come on. I need to get life two on Celez. That's the wrong enemy, you idiot! Why would you? Oh, I wish you could target sometimes. I wish you could target. At least that thing is gone. But then they revive. Yeah, it's stupid. So they can't technically die. You know what, just attack normally. <clears throat> We've got, like, 455 battle power, probably more now because of my levels. So, let's just wreck him with a normal attack. We'll probably do about 4,000 with a normal attack from saving anyway. I could, what, I would actually like to attack, please. Okay, there we go. Look at that! Look at that! Okay, he does heal a little. So, maybe I can't attack with saving. That actually kind of sucks. Well, I'm going to just wreck house. Oh, no, that's going to wreck me because of, um reflect here um, I'm guessing oh I don't want to heal him I forget his weakness I think it's fire that would make sense I'll let the cure go off first so I can choose a spell oh god that's gonna double its power and it hits so there's twice wow you healed me twice thanks this is so stupid, this is taking forever, I might just do the bloody technique. Please say that your weakness is fire. God, we've done nothing to him already. Look, it's ice, okay then. Because I can't use ultimate because it targets everybody, you can't just target one enemy, which does suck. And come on, Saban, I need you to do the bum rush blitz on the enemy and... What do you mean incorrect blitz input? That's stupid. This boss takes forever, and it's not necessary. Ice free him. Have we got ice free on you? No, we got ice too. I guess that'll work. His magic's not the best, but it works. There's not much to say. What do I do here? My plans are starting to fall out of place. Oh my god, he's not dead yet. I know he's not dead yet. Oh, no, 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 no. He just... Oh. Christ almighty. I'm gonna cut until I find him. Ha! Found him, I think. From powers of deduction, anyway. I'm always getting it on the last one. That's stupid. Ah. Oh. 
Wow. Seriously, you're not doing any damage to to me, pretty much. Reflector's not going to do much in any way. Uh, let's revive Mog, and I'm just going to get a jump on everybody. And you're targeting the wrong enemy again, Sabin! That's... Target Rexol! They keep regenerating! I hate the auto-targeting with blitzes, it's stupid. Bum rush, Rexol, please. It wastes my time. I hate this boss. It's not hard, it just wastes your time. I mean, if you were a little bit low leveled, maybe th these enemies could be a threat, but... I don't know, I mean, considering the damage I'm taking, it probably would have done half of my HP if I didn't level up. So maybe I did the best thing, because he is level 53, as we already know. Wow! Bum Rush is just attacking the one enemy every time. This is fun. I can't take this thing out because T T Sabin won't target. And if I fight normally... He's doing it again already! Oh, I didn't even hit him that much. I'll be back again. Okay, he's back again. Good Christ, this is stupid. You know what? Sabin can be the major healer here. Even though that's not really that big of an issue. Because apparently Bum Rush only wants to attack the bottom soul saver. And actually did a lot of damage. Bloody hell. Uh, give me Ice Free. Let's wreck him. I'm just going to spam Ice Free now. To 20 minutes now. I don't expect this boss to last much longer. He's probably almost dead by now. Wait, that was a Mog level 3. That was a Mog Ice Free. Are you serious? That was pathetically weak. I thought Mog was supposed to be a better, but maybe I need to power him up with some Espers or something. Because Espers, like I said, give you level up bonuses, so that could be a thing. Even though he's just resisting it rather well. Then again, that was a level 2. This should do mass damage because it's a Les. No, he's actually resisting it pretty well now. Um, I don't want to do that. Oh, for crying out loud, every time Mog jumps! I'm getting annoyed now! You know what? <sighs> He's probably almost dead. I'm gonna continue. Oh, wow, that was quick. I just knocked out Sabin because he already had less... Not a lot. He, only, he had, like, under a thousand HP, as you saw. So I just cast fire on him, even after I vanished Celez, which isn't a problem now. And, uh, yeah. He just popped out instantly, so at least that didn't take as long as I thought. Has he changed his weakness or something? I don't remember that happening. Right, Mog, I want you to jump and I want you to actually land a hit. I will allow Saban to attack him normally because even though it heals him a thousand HP, he does three to four thousand damage, so it's still damage overall. So I'm not exactly healing him. Yeah, he's definitely got... Oh, great, that was even damage. What? I wasn't the finishing hit, you sick. There we go! Didn't have to cheat. I was so tempted to cheat because I was getting a little bit sick and tired that every time Mog jumped, he possessed somebody. But at least then, if Mog jumps and he possesses someone, he can't possess Mog because he's not on screen. So I guess that's a plus. Mog learnt life free, that was the winning one. I got a pod bracelet, we'll have to check that out in a second. Thanks be to you! I heard my wife and children calling out to me! Their voices finally gave me the strength to encourage to come to grips with my own suffering! There's a buddy. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Wooded! Aline! Awain! Thank you, my love. <laughs> they're sitting in the thrones. No, they're not, actually. I thought they were thrones, but they're just uh, suits of armor. Sorry, I jumped the gun. No, I didn't do anything then. And I can't now. I'm a man with no honor. No, you have entirely too much. My beloved. Oh, there. My beloved. Always be together. Papa. We love you. 
Please wait! It says, I, I don't know why the textbook happens during the pixelation, because you can barely read it in time. Poor sign. Hang on. <gasps> a sword? What? We'll always be at your side. Oh my god, they've turned themselves into a sword. It's a demon sword. <laughs> Hello, what's that magicite up there in the throne? Did we just permanently miss that magicite? Was that a glitch? Nope, because we're back in the real world now. I lean in a way and live on in my heart. I must leave the past behind. I have too much to live for. Sign's soul cleared itself of all doubt and confusion. And he learns all of his sword techs. Which, funnily enough, was only the one, because that was the last one. I mean, if you level up, just like with Sabin, enough times, you will eventually learn it. But, we're fully healed, because we just technically got out of bed, I guess. Oh, sword tech. Now he's learnt cleave. Dices up enemies. I think that's like a dispatch, or something similar to a quadra slam or something. But it literally does so much damage. The problem is, you're going to have to literally wait a whole double ATB bar, just to get it off. So, prepare to be waiting quite a bit. And we got a new weapon for Sign right here, so let's go equip that. It is the... What the... Is it? Yeah. Oh no, it's not a Strato. Or maybe that was the, all the techniques. I thought that was an item. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. I don't know. Anyway... We're pretty much done here, but hang on, we've still got to get that Magicite. Let's go back to the uh, throne room. There we go! Receive the Magicite, Alexander. Let's check it out. Alexander, Mystic Purity Attack when summoned. And it gives you the Almighty Pearl for dead enemies, but then again, if we already have Ultima, what is the problem? But, nah, I don't know. It's something, I guess. And I want to equip all Espers now. I need that Economizer back. And you had the Heal Ring before, so I'll give that back to you. There we go. And... Now, I'll meet you back in the ship with a new team, because we're going to do another side quest, and it should be small enough for me to actually fit this in. I'll be bringing Mog once again for GP. Like I said, if you don't know what that means, that means general purposes. And yeah, I'll meet you at FAMSA with our new team. We need Struggle and Realm for the next quest. Okay, here's my new team, and now I'm going to sort out the Espers and show them off quickly, because they haven't got any. I gave Strago Stray, because he hasn't learnt, uh, what's the magic? float yet, so you can finish that off. I gave Realm Shote because she hasn't got Doom. I've gave um, Edgar Alexander because he was like the most annoying one to level up during the level grind, because he just didn't have any magic. So I think giving him Pearl would be nice. I mean, he does have Ultima, but you can't target one person with Ultima, so that's a thing. And I also gave Terra Palador because I want her to have Haste 2 and Slow 2. Now time for the equipment, because I can actually give this dude a shield now, because we've got some elemental shields. I'm going to give him the ice shield. I don't think I want to... Oh yeah, I want to give him the Magus Rod, definitely the Magus Rod. Um, I don't think I can give him any suits. Nope. Okay, you, I think you're all good to go. I mean, oh, actually, Mystery Veil. Seems pretty good. Uh, let's do that, I guess. And that will probably be it. Yep. You've got the man eater for reasons, not for instead of using the um, tools all the time. You've already got a crystal shield, got that. I don't really think I can upgrade you. The flatulon, I'm definitely going to give you the ultimate weapon now. Yes, it's finally being used! Um, I don't think there's anything else to give you about that, but definitely an upgrade with the Jindy's armor. That is definitely a plus right there. So here's the equipment. I've got all um, relics. Let's go. As soon as you enter FAMSA, with Strago and Realm in the team, they have to be both in the same team. This happens as soon as you walk in the town halfway. This is what I had to avoid when I was uh, trying to heal or level grinding. Yeah, we're back! Just like old times. She goes off. Time to relax! Home sweet home! Grandpa! This is terrible! Gung Ho is hurt! We Gung Ho? What? What's going on here? <laughs> G 
Gung ho! Wake up! Who did this to you? It was Hedon, the beast you and I used to hunt. I almost had it. You took on Hedon! <coughs> Gung ho! Struggle, please, you must avenge me. Why are you hesitating? That should be a question mark. <laughs> well, I spent my youth chasing that creature. Do it again at this age is more than I bargained for. Gung ho, rest easy. I'll do it for you. Ho 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 ho. Yep, we got our mission. <laughs> Simple as that. And we're still on an autopilot here. Grandpa! Just a minute, don't you f you don't think you're going alone, do you? I spent me too many years of my life hunting this thing. It's my obsession, not yours. But grandpa, this obsession of yours could easily slay you. You're my grandfather. I can't just sit idly by and watch you go. Aw, oh, she cares. Sorry, Realm. I'm so grateful that you care. But as his name implies, the Hedon is extremely difficult to find. Unless I go alone, it will not show itself. Next stop, Abbot's Rock. So yeah, we're on our own with Strago. Whew! Wait, do we still have our team? I'm confused. Yeah, you don't have to go alone, you just have to have Strago in your team. So, it's a little bit confusing. I believe you can have a team. So what we're going to do is take the airship and go forward. Uh, back up a bit, there we go. <laughs> because this is our target. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this in record breaking time, because it's a very short dungeon. All you got to do is gr do uh, grab a few items, basically. But the problem is... You require flash. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, these switches are more like teleporters, even though they're just buttons on the floor. I am hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Feed me. Otherwise, I won't let you buy. I like to eat coral. Have any? Hand over some coral. I don't think I have any. You, ha you must have more than one of those. So yeah, we have got to go through random generated dungeons or randomly chose dungeons, find chests, and just... Well, yeah grab coral. There are some random encounters in here, but I don't think I'll be showing them off because you're going to get coral so bloody much. That was a dead end because it put me right next to a chest, which was stupid. And are you serious? Another two pieces of coral. Can I keep doing that? Can I keep hitting this button and reset this chest? That'll make everything so much easier. No, it's actually taking me out this time. And I got a random encounter. I got cut out so much from the previous battle anyway. So we got, uh, from the previous battles. Yes. Slatter, Warlock, and Airland. I don't think I'm going to be fighting these things for too long. So let's just flash them. And I forgot to equip a bloody oh, economizer. That is a thing. But I'm definitely going to equip them when we're going to Kefka's castle. That much is a given. Alright, please don't say that they heal from that. Oh wow, that one's almost dead. And we won just like that. Boom! We got seven pieces of coral so far. Let's see if that's enough. I don't think it is though. I think you need something like 20. Oh, it didn't take me straight to the chest. I found one piece of coral. Thanks. I'm just going to keep taking the warp. It seems like the quickest way. Um, I choose this way. Yes! Two pieces of coral. So this shouldn't take too long. You're not going to encounter that many random encounters by walking around. So that's three pieces of coral. I think you can find them in your key items, but so that's not that big of an issue. Two pieces of coral. But please get to the chest now. I think I've got enough. I'm not doing the math as I go. That is the chest and random encounter again. What the hell is that ball thing? That's different. You know what? Fire. Burn it all with fire. <laughs> and there's like a seahorse kind of dragon here. Kind of reminds me of... Seedra. Oh, uh, Kingdra. That's it. From Pokemon. Because it's a dragon. It's a dragon seahorse. That's a thing. Okay, wow. 
Take the damage. Oh, Wind Slash. Here we go. Something I always confuse for Airblade. And, oh wow, it was his death counter. That thing died to seizure, apparently. That was a powerful seizure as well, because it was 62 damage. And you're dead. That was Uber kill. And we're out of here. I'm going to cut till I get back to the chest. Finally, after about 10 minutes of running around, grabbing chests like a loony, and dodging random encounters, I can finally get rid of him. So he just... He just burps. And we're just like, hey, move out of the way. Oh yeah, you want to pass through here, right? And he just jumps back. Yeah, what the? And he just runs away. But, as soon as we get up to this... Really? I'm right in front of the boss! God damn it, I really hate it when that happens, because one step away, there's Hedon, a green version of Chupon. Well, that's the sprite anyway. Talk to him, and... The battle begins. Now, this is actually one of those bosses that you can fight multiple times, and the reason why you want to fight this thing is because it gives you Strago's ultimate law, basically. It's all powerful, so what we want to do is just, uh, I'm just going to use a flash to take out those little guys. And, no, don't you dare do that. I'll whack you with my brush. Alright, kill those little guys. No, I did not kill them. That's stupid. So yeah, um, I'll just do a fire two, so I don't go overboard with the power. Come on, Realm, hit Strago before he hits Terror, of course. Come on, use your Grand Train, because that's what it's called. Once he does that, I can easily kill him. He's a dead enemy, apparently, so... Oh, great. That one had a... Uh... Reflect, that's the word. So, Flash is definitely the better way to go here. Especially when it does the damage needed. And... I did not get poisoned. Sweet. Come on! Use your what's-its-face. I don't think Strago can learn Zombie Claw. So basically, I'm just trying to wait it out until he uses a certain thing. And then <laughs> I can just wreck him and we can end it. So I got two quests done at once in this video. I might have to do tons of cutting to fit it in, but... But then again, I've already got to do that during the Rex Soul battle and everything, so whatever. Come on. Those do little things will respawn, sadly, so. Oh, there we go. Grand Train. Now let's life him, and we should be fine. And if not, I'm just going to have to wreck him with fire. Yes! Yes! This up here! Yep, he's a boss, but like I said, he is refightable in case you didn't get Grand Train. But hey, we got Grand Train. Give me the message. That's not it. That, no, that's not it. There we go, learn Grand Train. And I'm going to go save outside this cave. So in the next episode, guys, we will probably take out Doom Gaze. But I think we actually have cutscenes now, remember? I did it! I, I, I actually beat Hedon! <laughs> I have to tell Gung Ho he is avenged. Yeah, we have got cutscenes. Okay. So after this cutscene is finished, next episode. <laughs>